All right, for the past month, I cut out fruit from my diet for the, uh, for the most part. I did have some Thai bananas. I wanted to try this experiment because I've talked about it before about how I think that you really should separate the two. Now, a lot of people I know don't have to do this, but if you have issues with bloating and gut pain and stuff like that, this might be an interesting video for you because over the last, I don't know, maybe it was two months, I've really cut out fruit. I stopped buying bananas. I don't really like berries all that much. I haven't bought any frozen fruit. And I wanted to see what would happen to my digestion over that time and how it would react. Would I be as bloated as I usually am? And where would we go from there? A lot of people over here fishing. <sighs> so I decided to do that. And the starches, oops, the starches that I've been eating is mostly just potatoes, rice, pasta, and I've been making bread stuff, uh, like calzones and things like that. And what I noticed is there's a lot less bloating. The digestion, for the most part, has been a lot better. I have been adding those uh, naked drinks in, the Mighty Mango ones that I like to get. Those have been helping, but I have noticed quite a big difference. Now, when I was fully raw, I had the best digestion that I've ever had, but I don't seem to be able to combine them all that well. And I think that it's interesting because a lot of people I know actually can eat just starch and fruit at the same time. I live with a person like that who can do that and have absolutely no digestion issues whatsoever. And <laughs> then there's me. And I don't know what it is. So if you are on the, the raw cell four or just combining things and you're having issues with your gut health, maybe start there first. Now I have to say that I felt like I was a lot healthier. <laughs> on just uh, fruit, but that has become such a pain in the ass these days that I haven't really been doing it too much. Uh, so, because uh, starch is, is just so much more plentiful, it's so much cheaper, it's easier when you're going places to have a starch, it's easier just on everything imaginable just to have starches. So I decided that I was gonna try it and it actually has gone pretty well. I've, I've noticed a lot less water retention, a lot less bloating, a lot less issues digesting anything, a lot less issues just in general. I know I've, I've talked about that in some of my videos in the past, so I decided to finally just do it. I ran out of bananas you know, a couple months back, and I'm like, you know, I just don't feel like buying these things right now. Let me see what happens when I do, you know, starches only. The energy, now I will say this, the one thing that you notice is when you eat fruit, you do not have a dip in energy at all, but I have noticed that when I eat starches, I get like this weird dip in energy, like that food coma that people talk about. So I don't know what the difference is there. But then again, I've only noticed it with certain things. So I've only noticed it with cereal and I've only noticed it with like uh, stuff with wheat in it. If I do it with potatoes, I don't have that lull in energy at all. When I do it with rice, 50-50. I think it depends on what I eat the rice with uh, and whether or not I get that, uh, you know, so-called food coma thing. And I don't know what causes that. Maybe it's just a lot more on the digestion when you're doing uh, certain starches versus other ones. I don't really know. But I find that interesting as well. But it has been a fun experiment, so if you're having issues with your digestion, I suggest maybe trying one or the other. Now, if you want the best digestion, of course, fruit is the place to be, especially because you don't really need insulin to digest it. <clears throat> if you have 
massive issues with insulin uh, resistance, I would say try fruit only for as long as you can. Uh, especially we're coming into mango season. I find fruit only is easiest during mango season, mango season and watermelon season. So maybe build up that tolerance, maybe try it out. I think mango season officially starts in like mid-February through, they say it's through August. I, I say the, the best mangoes are kind of, you know, the, they're done by, I don't know, May or June. Well, maybe that's just here. I don't know if that's everywhere or not. So to summarize, I definitely had a good time with it. Knowing that I'm coming into mango season though, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be adding fruit back in. I just got tired of the bananas only. And I'm actually not the biggest fan of dates. <clears throat> you would think I would be a bigger fan of them, but I'm just not. It's a cool little place here. Uh-oh, got a human encounter here. What am I gonna do? Can't handle it. And I'm still here in the ring, my head. And sometimes I feel my heart is dead. Maybe tonight, maybe today. Could I love instead? Yeah, I'm still here in the ring, my head. And sometimes I feel my heart is dead. Also, keeping it simple, I try to have no more than uh, five ingredients. Now, I don't count spices and stuff in that ingredient list, so like a five ingredients might be potatoes, corn, carrots, and like two different vegetables. That'd be my five ingredients. Anyway, summarize it. It has gone well, but we're coming into mango season, so I'm definitely gonna be adding fruit back in. One of the best combinations is uh, mangoes and strawberries. I don't really like strawberries with bananas. But mango, strawberry, good stuff. That's it, that's the video. Uh, leave down below, what's your favorite combinations? Do you have to combine food a specific way? Now this could also be an issue with low stomach acid. And if you do have low stomach acid, you know, things like apple cider vinegar can help. <clears throat> um, the one thing that doesn't help is antacids. That actually makes your situation even worse. So stay away from those. A lot of people think that they get uh, heartburn and stuff like that because of low stomach acid or high stomach acid, but it's actually your stomach acid is low. It's complete opposite of what they're telling you. So try a few different things out. You can try just starches. You can try just fruit. You could try increasing your stomach acid and you might not have any of these issues. Chewing as well. Like if you don't chew very much, that can cause an issue. It's like if you're one of these people who just chews and three, you know, three chews and then you swallow, that's gonna cause an issue. There's many different things. And I know a lot of people in the comment section have talked about issues with digestion in the past. So I decided to kind of go out on this journey. I definitely have to say it helps, but I also have to say that I do miss waking up and eating fruit. So, it's not the best, <laughs> but it, it is effective. Anyway, comments, questions down below, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.